sorts and it is called Moms Make the Best Teachers. So you guys know that oh, we make a tea that says Moms Make the Best Teachers. It's the one that I have on. We make it in black, white, and gray. Um, but really, I made that tea because I really believe in that. When I started on our homeschool, actually, when I started off, period, as a mom, you learn everything you know, basically, from other moms. So moms really do make the best teachers. I really believe that. Um, I wanted to start this series really to highlight other moms who have taught me so much, that I love so much, and just kind of like shine a light on them and encourage like a community of like a fight against comparison. I feel like one of my biggest struggles in homeschool, and there are many different struggles, but one of the biggest ones is loneliness. Um, because homeschooling, as a homeschooling mom, for me, it can be quite lonely, and you really have to learn how to make friends. And, you know, there are no co-workers that you get to connect with every day. It's a challenge. You really have to, you really have to go out there and kind of, gather a community of sorts and the biggest thing that keeps you from doing that I believe is comparison um, because we can get on people's posts and, and like their posts and send an occasional comment but really just feeling that connectivity I think that helps us throughout our days um, because I, I mean let's be honest as homeschool moms a lot of our community comes from social media because we're able to connect with one another um, in such a way that is encouraging and life bringing and you don't always have other homeschool moms around you some people live in great areas that have huge communities of homeschoolers and even then if you do have homeschoolers around you sometimes you you know you, you don't really uh, like the same things or you don't have the same styles of teaching or okay I'm about to get rambly so anyway you get what I'm trying to say I just want to take this opportunity to highlight um, homeschool moms that I love moms that I love in general that have taught me so much and I feel like have so much to share with others so a lot of the homeschool moms that I'm going to be highlighting and mentioning you may have come across already and you may not have some of them a lot of them are going to be in the YouTube community and some of them on Instagram um, so I'm hoping that they'll be from different places um, yeah I don't know I'm just really excited to start the series and to just kind of spread the love so another really cool thing about this series that I'm excited about is that um, we're going to be giving away some of our homeschool favorites at the end of each video. So I'm going to highlight a mom, tell you why I love them so much, how you can support them, how you can connect with them, um, things that I learned from them and love about them. And then at the end of the video, I'll give you all the details on how you can enter our current Moms Make the Best Teachers giveaway. So I'm excited to get it started. I, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous to see how everything goes, but I'm hoping that everybody receives it well, and I'm hoping that you guys just kind of chat with me and introduce me to some new moms that have encouraged you, and just really, I want us to build a really nice, healthy community where we're just killing comparison and choosing to encourage one another, and yada, yada, yada. So, um, today I am going to be featuring one of my favorites. It is Michelle from A Common Life here on YouTube. I love Michelle, <laughs> okay? Um, I think she started making videos here on YouTube around the same time that I did. And she is so sweet and so precious and I have really enjoyed getting to know her through her videos and connecting with her um, personally through our social media platforms. We do not live near one another so we can't hang out, but being able to watch videos and connect through social media just really make me feel like I have a homeschool mom friend that I love and that is so different from me and that is so wonderful. Michelle is a wife and a mom of five beautiful kids and some of my favorite videos from her you guys um, I know you probably most of you probably already follow her but I do have a lot of um, new homeschoolers so if you haven't heard of her you have to go and check her out. 
One of my favorite videos from her is actually not a homeschooling video that she has on her channel, but it is about going gray at 35. Michelle is a beautiful gray-haired homeschooling mama. I just love her gray hair so much, okay? <laughs> I know that's weird, but I love it. I think it makes her different. I think it makes her beautiful, her beautiful blue eyes, and I can see so much of her beauty inside of her kids. Um, so I just love following her. One really cool thing about uh, Michelle's videos, besides them being incredibly encouraging, is that she is so authentic with the different changes that she makes in homeschool. I mean, she homeschools five kids, and I have three, so I know adding two more to the mix has to be a challenge trying to um, just be okay with the changes that you need to make as your kids grow. So I love that she is so incredibly authentic about her process and how she's excited about implementing new things and when those new things don't work she gets on and shows you or tells you um, that it didn't work out and she's had to make new changes i love that she's not afraid to show you that she's had to change so much because a lot of what we do in homeschool is making changes um, to find the best things for our kids at any given time. Another thing I really love about her videos is that they're nice and short and sweet, which means that you can easily watch them in the morning really quickly um, before you start your homeschool day. So I love a long video, don't get me wrong, but they're nice and bite-sized, the majority of her videos, so that you can just get that daily encouragement from her. I just love her channel so much. She has many different encouraging homeschool videos. Uh, one I think in particular I enjoyed, but even though I don't deal with, she has a series on homeschooling children with sensory processing disorder. And um, I really like watching videos like that. I think they're really informative for me as a family who does not have um, that issue it's nice for me to get to know what someone else might be going through and you have a better understanding of what other people um, have to manage and how how you can possibly help them being that you don't experience that so I really like being able to watch videos like that I find them incredibly informative and um, I thought they were super helpful for me um, not having to deal with a child that has that issue but then also um, helpful obviously for someone who does have to homeschool a child that are having those challenges another video that I love that she has is about homeschooling as an introvert and just tips on things that you can be actively doing in order to kind of put yourself out there as a homeschooling mom because you really do have to go out there and build up that community or else you will feel isolated and alone a lot and that doesn't do anything good for us as homeschool moms we can't fully be ourselves and give our kids um, what is so awesome about being able to give them as a homeschool mom if you just feel lonely and shut down and disconnected. So that is a huge challenge because actually I am quite an introvert as well. I know it doesn't seem like it, <laughs> but you have to remember I am in my comfortable space. You know, when I sit and talk to this camera, I am comfortable where I am right now. Um, and that's allows me to be myself but when I'm out and I'm not in a situation where I am totally comfortable I am less of myself so you do have to do things to get out of that comfort zone in order to build that community and reach out and make friends in the homeschool world so I thought that was a great video she did you have to watch that one too I'm gonna link that one too but anyway um I just wanted to talk a bit about why I love her so much and why if you're not already following her you should go and check her out. Um, she is here on YouTube like I said and then she also has an Instagram as well. Uh, what else did I want to say? Yeah, so I was trying to keep this short and sweet. I just wanted to tell you guys about my featured mom who I think makes the best teacher. So I love you, Michelle. So like I said, at the end of each video, after featuring the mom that I love, I am going to be introducing the newest giveaway. 
So by now, I believe you guys have seen my homeschool haul, which features a lot of the things that I'll be giving away, but the very first one I am going to be doing now. So I'm just gonna leave all of the instructions on what you would win in this particular giveaway and how to enter at the end of this video and make sure you enter and spread the word. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you talk to me in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already and you want to see more videos from us. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah.